What's going on guys, Nick and Doug here. It's our early screening of Indiana Jones and Dial Destiny. As always, Nick, your thoughts first, my friend. So it was really fun. Um, I've been hearing kind of bad reviews. I don't agree with them. Uh, like I said, it was fun. The music was great. The action was great. The, the de-aging on um, Harrison Ford was yeah. really good. I think the end, though, maybe could have been fleshed out a little bit more. Some character motivations could have been stretched out a little bit more because it seemed like they kind of were just like, at a certain point, it was like, boom, 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 boom. Like, we kind of got to get this done and this done. And it seemed yeah. a little bit rushed, but towards, like, the last third of the movie. But I would give it a 8 out of 10, though, for sure. Yeah, you know, I love James Mangold, man. He did this. He did uh, Logan, um, uh, Ford vs. Ferrari, Third and Yuma remake. Um, I think Harrison Ford kills it in this, for sure. He goes out yeah. with a bang, definitely. But I found a lot of issues <laughs> with... <laughs> with, <a> bang, <laughs> with Issues with kind of, like... I thought the chemistry between him and Phoebe Waller Bridge was kind of okay. It was not the best, but it was like it was cool. Like it was, it was passable. It was fair, yeah. uh, some of the villains were kind of just like very generic, very have like Boyd Holbrook had like really no point being there. He was just yeah. kind of like there. Um, and there's one character with a kid that I told Nick I was like, hey, why is this kid still in the movie? Like, <laughs> he was just like there for no reason, and I was like, I guess he kind of has an important scene at the end. But I was like, yeah, he's still like, kind of annoying me. It seemed like, th without spoiling it, the scene at the end was the only reason to really justify Right. It. Like, one of two reasons to really justify the kid being there. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's kind of about it. And I um, I think it's for sure a step up from Crystal Skull. Most definitely. And, yeah. Most definitely. But I still had issues with the writing here and there. Kind of the cheesy kind of, like, jokes that didn't really land sometimes. <laughs> But uh, I still had fun with, yeah, still, still fun seeing Harrison Ford one last time as Indy. Uh, a lot of nice callbacks to other movies. Again, the aging was really great. I think the opening sequence is awesome. The it chase, so, yeah. the chase scenes, the action scenes work for sure. What with Nick, please said too, I kind of agree was that it's, I wish it was kind of more paced better or not as rushed because there are a lot of cool things that were like, oh, we should kind of explore more of that or this person's backstory a bit more. But um, also cool seeing uh, Banderas was in it. Tony Banderas was good in yeah, it. Yeah, that was a that was a really pleasant surprise. He was a good addition to it. So while we're full review on the podcast this Friday, until then, guys, see you later. This is